Hey, what is up guys? I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to use your GoPro Hero 8 as a webcam. Now I did make a video a few months ago about how to do that but um, this is kind of like an updated video because I figured out a new method which to me is overall better than the other one. So let's get right into it. First what you're going to need is obviously your GoPro Hero 8 and then with that you're going to need the media mod which is going to run you about $80. Um, you can't do this without the media mod, so make sure you get it. And you're also going to need the charger cable. Um, now I have a different one. It's still the USB-C. Um, it might not focus, but it's still the USB-C that comes with it. Um, it's just a different one that I bought at Walmart because I needed a longer cord. Well, I thought I needed a longer cord, but then I figured out um, I just plug it in extension cord into the wall, and then I can plug it into the GoPro. Um, but next you're going to need the this is the um, Elgato Cam Link 4K I know it's not focusing on it but um, it comes with this this cord this cord comes with it uh, it also comes with another HDMI cord but you're not gonna need that you're actually gonna need this HDMI it's like a I don't know if it's a micro or a mini HDMI piece I'll try to get it to focus on that real quick there oh it focused for a second right here that's about the best I can get it <laughs> but um yeah it's gonna be just a regular HDMI on this end and it's gonna be like uh, I think this is a micro HDMI on the other end because you can also look up the GoPro specs and it'll tell you exactly what it takes or the GoPro Hero 8 mod and see what it takes uh, it's this there's all kinds of ports on here. There's an aux down here, and then there's the for the USB-C charging port, and then the HDMI right there. Um, so, firstly, uh, you're gonna put your GoPro into your um, into your media mod, and then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is plug in my cord, my HDMI cord. There goes my HDMI. And then I'm also, the reason why I'm going to get the charger cord, and what you're going to need to do before this, which I failed to mention, is take the battery out of it. You do not need the battery at all. Um, I'll prove that I do not have my battery in. Here's my battery right here. Make sure you take the battery out. And then after that, plug in your charger piece. Now, usually if you plug your charger in into the... Uh, into like your computer or something like that it'll recognize it as a USB even if you have an HDMI plugged in um, so what we're gonna do is connect this piece right here this is the cam link this is for the HDMI and then I'm not gonna show you guys won't see this but I'm plugging this into my laptop now after you do that uh, you're going to get, I'm going to get this from my iPhone, but I'm going to plug it in to the uh, other end of this USB. And I'm going to plug this into the wall, or I'm actually going to plug it into an extension cord, but pretty much the same thing. And after I do that, after I do that, I can now use the GoPro. Okay, so after you have it all plugged in and everything, um, first off, what you're going to want to do is power it on. So, after you power it on, it should power on even though it has absolutely no battery in it. Um, now, what I do is, the reason why I'm doing this and I don't have the battery in is it could run hot and you don't want your GoPro to get too hot. And at the same time, you also don't have to worry about having to worry about if it's going to die on you mid recording or stream or whatever it'll be plugged in so it'll always be charged it's kind of like a webcam and um it won't get too hot having no battery in it because with the battery in i've noticed that they get kind of warm now it probably wouldn't but it's just easier to be on the safe side and just in case you know what if it does ruin your battery so we're going to go in i'm going to go in on my laptop Okay, so on my last video, I got a few questions on exactly how to record with it. Um, first off, um, I'm going to do it in OBS. Now, I use Bandicam, which is kind of the same concept in Bandicam. Um, I also use Streamlab OBS, but Streamlabs OBS and regular OBS are pretty much you know the same concept. So I can show in Bandicam, and I can also show in 
OBS, but Bandicam and OBS are pretty much the same concept. First off, you're going to start a new source, which is going to be a video capture device. And then when you open it up, make sure you have Cam Link selected. And I'm going to click out of this real quick. Okay. So after you select your, your capture device, um, you select Cam Link. If it doesn't show up, click deactivate and then reactivate it. And you should be able to open it right here. And what you're going to want to do, if I remember correctly, is I think it's the mode button, which is the mode button is also the power button on the side. Yeah, you click it once, twice, and you'll get over to where you see a little GoPro emblem or a little camera emblem. And then you click the top record button and it'll take you to this. And you can cycle through these, press mode again. If you press mode, and then you can you can press mode all the way over to this. I have it on 1080p 60 wide frame. And I can click the record button, which is how you select. And I can go to all my presets right here is 2.7K 60 in linear. And then I can click on the next one, which is 4K 24 frames linear. And then I have 1080p 240 frames wide in slow mo and then 2.7k 60 in super view which pretty much captures everything and if the quality looks kind of bad to me the best looks like 1080p 60 and it looks more like a webcam the quality looks kind of bad on the gopro is because the lighting in my room is awful like i try to use a gopro light to improve my lighting but it really doesn't look that great if you have a better lit room or a room without dark walls which i have really really dark walls and that light might interfere with some of the lighting with the gopro see how the lighting shifts whenever I shine it up there um, but I, overall it's gonna look good and with my camera I can't really do this because I didn't make a video on how to do it but unfortunately mo uh, like most Canon cameras and I think every Sony camera other than like the exception of one or two only allow you to record for 30 minutes and then they shut off so if you're doing this with your camera it's gonna shut off and I think there's a few alternatives but I haven't ever really been able to do them other than how I'm doing with the GoPro here and there's a few other cameras like a Lumix camera and things like that that you can use but there's no point in spending that much on a camera if you already have a GoPro that you can use one more thing if you're trying to get rid of this information if you press the mode button all the way over to this eye with the line through it and then you click the record button it'll take it all off so now you don't have to worry about all that I'm in 1080p 60 I can bring it back up here like I'm using it as a webcam overall my camera to me does have a better quality indoors but it's harder to use it if I'm gonna record a video most likely it'll be over 30 minutes and it just it makes it hard so I um, think the GoPro would be a better option for me and I know a lot of you are gonna use your GoPro too so I do hope this um, helped you guys out if it did don't forget to smash that like button and as always, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Load for me because my laptop has absolutely no storage. And yeah, it's, I have I have no.